What's going on guys, CWG here, welcome to another episode on the Ball Hunters SMP! Did you know William Shakespeare's wrote 37 plays? Interesting! Now you guys saw the title of the video correctly, finally! At level 40, we got our first trinket. Let's roll that clip. Guys, guys, Zenji's live streaming, uh, I've been running some vaults with him, and look what I got from the boss crate. Our first trinket, finally! Level 40, and we finally get a trinket. Oh, let's see what we get. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope we get something good. We got the Lucky Goose. What does that do? Plus 50% item rarity. Wow. Well, that's pretty good. And does that just go? It goes in our trinket slot. And I guess we just get 50% more item rarity. That's hilarious. And what do we get for a relic? The Mining Light? Oh my gosh, that's the one that we needed. What is this CWG luck? Yeah, how crazy. We got our first trinket, the Lucky Goose. Now, I thought this was like a permanent buff, which I guess would be a bit OP. But as you can see, it says it has 24 uses. So we could use this Lucky Goose on 24 different chests. So I'm thinking we just hold this guy in our backpack. And whenever we run into a key treasure room, we equip it. That way we can get some rarer items. And what's cool about getting this trinket is we've unlocked it in our Vault Forge. See? We can craft another Lucky Goose, but we need a Trinket Scrap, which comes from uh, smelting down our trinkets inside of the Recycler. Which I don't know if I want to melt down our first trinket, our Lucky Goose. Goose WG confirmed. So what have I been doing in between episodes? Let's fly down to Mech Create Island and take a look. Down we go, Wee! As you can see, I've added two more lights. I'm just having so much fun adding these indication lights. We got our low fuel light. If the kelp supply ever runs low, this light will come on. And then we have overdrive. And I bet you can guess what that does. Oh, well, I guess we're low on fuel, huh? Yeah, we're just slightly making not enough kelp to feed all these guys around the clock. But we could just ignore that problem for now. So if you guys remember, last episode, we set up this area to make the cake bases. We have our automatic egg farm, automatic sugar farm, and the cinder flower from Netherrack we got in the nether. Wow. Now some people told me that we should be using the animal pens, which yes, you can use a bucket on these guys and get a whole bunch of eggs at once. Yeah, look at it go. And as you can tell, it's making a very loud noise because under this drawer, there is a warp plate which is teleporting all the cake bases somewhere else. We'll get to there in a second. But first, I ha I've gotten some comments saying we should use like a dispenser and a bucket on these guys to automate these guys. I think I mentioned this earlier in the series, but these animal pens are designed so you cannot automate them because it would be too OP. So I've already tested it. You cannot use a dispenser and a bucket. That doesn't work. You have to do it by hand, which unfortunately means we kind of have to rely on our automatic chickens in a hole. Also, some people have suggested using the mob terrarium for chickens, and I actually made one. And guess what? They don't drop eggs. I know, they drop raw chicken and feathers, but they don't drop eggs for some reason. So literally, it seems like the only way to automate eggs is chickens in a hole, as, as far as I can figure out. Let me know in the comments if you know any other ideas. Okay, so anyway, our cake bases are being shoved through a chute onto a warp plate. And if you guys didn't know, the warp plate can also teleport items. Pretty cool. In fact, if we take 16 eggs and throw it on here, we can see the teleportation process. See? Look at it go! But it does get kind of loud. Yeah, it does get kind of loud. So let's see where these guys are teleporting to. We must go underneath the generator. As you guys remember, we have been pumping lava up using mechanism pipes. I think Code has made enough pipes to get it all the way up here. Yep. And then we pipe the lava up to here. As you can see, here's the other warp plate. So the cake bases are arriving here. We have a smart chute, which will only pull out the cake bases. Because if you don't have a smart chute, it's going to pull out the attune shard and it's going to break it. So you need to use a smart chute from Create. Next up, the cake bases go down the line. They get squirted with lava and then they end up in this drawer down here, which, oh, apparently the drawer is full. Oh my goodness, we got 2048 blaze cakes. Let's go. Let me go make a drawer upgrade really quick. Boop. All right, let's slap a drawer upgrade on this guy. And yep, we can see it in action. Look at it. Filling up each cake with lava. And we just have unlimited lava from that source down below. You'll love to see it. Now, this part is a little bit complicated, but you guys got to stick with me here. As you can see, this pipe is in sucky mode. And that's our kelp blocks, which you can see we're, we're low on. 
And down there, we have our blazed cakes. And you can see there's a piston down there and a piston up here. And by using a lever, I can shift these drawer positions. Let me show you. If we go out here, let's turn on overdrive. Oh baby, and let's see what happens here. As you can see, it pushed the drawer up, so now the blaze cakes are getting sucked out and being shoved to the top. So let's get up there and see what's happening. Oh yeah, you can see the blazes are turning blue. That means they're in overdrive mode. Oh yeah, look at them go. And now the boiler's making 294,000 stress units, oh my goodness. Now what's hilarious is that doesn't give us any more power at all because we need more steam engines in order to utilize all this power. So that's why I installed the overdrive switch so we could just turn it back off. Like we don't need to be using all our blaze cakes right now. Plus this will give us a chance to continuously build up more and more of these blaze cakes so later in the game when we're gonna need that extra power, we're just gonna have a massive supply of these things. How cool. I must say, this is my first time doing like anything kind of advanced with a create mod, and I'm having so much fun with it. What is this? A fusion reactor checklist? Looks like code is already planning out the fusion reactor. Oh baby. I mean, just look at all this pipe spaghetti. You guys want a jewel update? Yeah, you want a jewel update. Here's the jewels I found in between episodes. Look, I found this jewel, which is another wooden affinity one, and it's only a size 24. Really good, and it has item rarity. We found a durability one, but the size is kind of big, a picking one, but the size is kind of big. This one is a very small size with durability, so this one's pretty good. And we have one that adds soul bound, cool. Honestly, it's been pretty fun collecting all these jewels, and I even found one that had mining speed along with vanilla immortality. So I added it to this pickaxe, and we still have 115 capacity left, which is pretty cool. Now I want to make another Kagerium cage, but we're slightly don't have enough chromatic steel. Because we've been having this issue where the vaulter keeps requiring us to get spider eyes, and the mob farm over there, which I guess you can't really see, it doesn't provide spider eyes because that requires a player kill. So I want to make a mob cage for our spider eggs, but we need more carbon. Look, we're out of carbon. Why are we always out of carbon? Yeah, let's make a vault crystal. How funny would it be if it needed spider eyes? It doesn't, luckily. Oh, it needs big drip leaf, though. I've not needed to get that before. Oh, crap, we don't have any. <laughs> Awkward. Anyone got big drip leaf? Oh, hi there. <laughs> I don't think the peeps have seen this. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cool. Oh, it's sick. Whee! All right, I heard you got some leaves. I does. <gasps> Do, do, I, do I dare to throw them, or are we gonna do the whole, oh, my magnet's on. Oh, my magnet's on. All right, now it's off. No, it's not on. Oh, I, I took it off at the last moment. Can Let's you go. throw one of those back? <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. you I'm go. gonna throw this in a batney pot. I didn't know it could even show up in the vaulter. It was a surprise. A uh, small drip leaf can as well, I believe. Oh, gosh, I'm gonna have to do that as well. I'll worry about well, that when it pops like. up. Oh, you could get me one? That would be dope. Yeah. Weep. Hi. Here we go. <gasps> Thank you. As a token of my gratitude, I have, uh, what do I have? Ah, a mystery box. Watch you get an mm. Omega Pog. Sh Although, haven't sh they shall removed I, shall it? Shall I open it now? Yeah, open uh, it. I'll open it now. Let's see what I'll I gave still you. I'll get an Omega Pog. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Diamonds. Diamonds. Okay, uh, that's fun. Yeah. It, it's, it's something. All right, thank you. I'm gonna go pot these. Enjoy your gardening. Thank you. Well, that was nice of Fuzzy. Now we don't have to go into like one of those caves and look for drip leaves. I mean, that's fine with me. So normally I would add two more Batney pots to our collection here, but in this update, they've made them a lot more expensive. Look, they require two black chromatic steel. Ugh, I don't even have enough to do that. So let's just repurpose a couple like glow lichen and hanging roots. We're not gonna, oh my goodness. We're not gonna do this. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're we're good on that stuff. Let me uh dump it all in the system real quick. All right, ignore all the items on the ground for now. Let's set up these two batney pads. We should be able to put a small drip leaf in with a piece of dirt. Nice. And the other one, a big drip leaf with a piece of dirt. Then take out your hoe and hoe the dirt for added performance. Do you like gaming? Well, good news for you. We're heading to the gaming, which is 8,000 blocks away. Actually, uh, the server is working on a gaming district, and I believe Rob has found a Mushroom Island, like, way out here. 
So I'm going to set up a warp plate here so that way people can just step on the plate at spawn and not have to fly 10,000 blocks away. Oh, this is going to be quite the journey. But some of the peeps have awesome plans for some mini games and especially in like modded Minecraft, we're going to be able to make way cooler mini games than you see on vanilla. Just you wait till you see some of the plans that people have. It's insane. I don't want to spoil anything, but it's going to be insane. Plus, I have an idea for some mini games I'd like to build, so I'll meet you guys over at the new gaming district. We gotta wait for our drip leaves to grow anyway. <laughs> Although going on this adventure, I haven't like explored a lot of the Terralith biomes yet. There's so much, so many cool things to see. Like, as you can see, we haven't really explored that much. I'll let you guys know if we find anything cool. Well, we're definitely starting to load new chunks now, because if you look down, ooh, it's actually kind of terrifying. It feels like we could fall off the edge of the earth. Is the earth flat? Whoa, what is this? Whoa, that's a cool cave. All right, don't fall into it. Look how long the ice biome is. It starts here and it went all the way out here. It's just like a massive cold biome. Oh, we've arrived. The mushroom island. Oh, this actually looks pretty cool. Is it just me? Is there way more mushrooms on this mushroom island than there usually is? <laughs> all right, so I believe Rob has set up a waystone here somewhere. Oh gosh, this is gonna be hard to find. Ah, oh, I found it. Yes, gaming district. Now we never have to come out here again. Now I'm going to set up this warp plate so that way other people on the server don't have to come all the way out here. You're welcome, peeps. All right, so if we set this up, this should take us to the gaming district. Nice. Now, guys, let me know in the comments. Hello there, Mushroom. Can I help you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas for mini games we can build here. And I want y'all to be creative, like using the create mod. We could use like ejectors to launch us, make elytra courses. I don't know. Leave a comment if you guys have any creative mini game ideas that we can build. Also, what the heck is this? Is there something in this trap door? Can I get in here? Oh, what is this? What? What is this? I think maybe this is just a hidden light source. I don't know. It's a bit sus. And you know what, guys? Setting up that warp plate so that way the other members of the server don't have to do it. I think that counts as a good deed. Good deed number two. Set up warp plate for spawn. Apparently I'm the only one who's done any good deeds so far. That's hilarious. I'm just that good of a person. And after a bit of AFK and we got some drip leaves. Eat the drip leaves, Falter. Eat them. Delicious. Nice. Oh, by the way, we got a new chest plate because our old one finally died. It's got 10 armor, 6 health, max resistance, and 20% mana regen. Really good chest plate. Let's hop in the vault. We need that carbon. We need it now. All right, we're in a snow vault. It's hunt the guardians. <gasps> we're finally a high enough level that it spawns eight guardians in at once now. That's terrifying. <laughs> Well, our main focus is going to be our quest, which is to find eight black opal ore. Now, this is going to be a very long quest to complete, that's for sure. But if we complete it, we get two black chromatic steel. That's our motivation. So let's get to vaulting. Now, I imagine since we're level 40 now, pretty much all the mobs are going to be tier two. And that is what it's looking like. <laughs> Good thing we got two rows of hearts now. That should help us out a lot. But also at level 40, there should be much more Kerbin in these chests. And in fact, we, we, sh we can try out our wooden affinity now. We should be able to vein mine these chests. Oh, it's delicious. Uh-oh, it's a twitching out drowned. <laughs> Look at it. They're so cursed looking. <laughs> this is like the moonwalk, but on your side. <laughs> One thing we're definitely going to have to get, though, is coin affinity, because look how slow it is to buy these coins without it. Oh, uh, we're on the lookout for that jewel. Omega! Whoa, we got two jewels in there! 11% vanilla immortality and 4.3 mining speed. Ooh, 51 size, though, is pretty big, but this is still a great find. Oh my gosh, it's another twitching out drown. <laughs> I wonder what causes that bug. It's kind of hilarious, yet terrifying. Oh, we just got a gemstone from a wooden chest. I didn't even know you could get those from wooden chests. Nice. Dang, wooden chests have a decent amount of value now. They have carbon. You can get gemstones. You can get those uh, bounty reroll thingies. Like, wooden chests are where it's at, yo. Ooh, tier two stray. The scariest of all the mobs. Get out of here. Whew. Well, there is an ore POI here, so maybe we can find the black opal? Maybe? No black opal, but we did find pizza night. Ooh, copious trigger on Benny boys. Take my mana. Thank you. Take my mana. Thank you. Ooh, got a helmet. Nice. Oh, it's one of the new POIs. 
In version 7, they've added a whole bunch of new ones. This one's definitely new. Look at all the sunstone in the ground. That's cool. Oh, I just love the new POIs they've added. Really adds more depth to the game. Ooh, some coins. This POI has like two floors. What the heck? It appears to just be a bunch of coins though. I smell a dungeon. I bet you there's one in here. Oh, it's an ornate dungeon. Let's go. Let's break the spotter, please. Nice. Also, this dungeon POI is one that I've never seen before. So many new things. Oh, 17 carbon in that chest. Did you see that? You'll love to see that. 19 carbon! Ah! Oh, so much carbon! More carbon up there. Is, is there carbon in this? Oh, just so much carbon. Or POI. Give me my black opal. Oh no, now there's a twitching out vault fighter. Just what we needed. <gasps> Do you see that? Do you see that, guys? It's a black opal! We got one out of eight complete. <laughs> we'll get there eventually, hopefully. Take my XP. We got a favor! Let's go! Thanos favor! Yeah! That means we have to complete the next vault that we run so we can get plus one reputation points. It's another one of the new POIs. It's so pretty! Look at all the crystals! Oh, that's so cool. Ow! I got hit from behind! Whoa, ghost walk, ghost walk. If you're ever in a bad position, just ghost walk, readjust, and then come at the mobs again and give them no mercy. Because they'll never give mercy to you. You know that. Omega! Vault diamond. Omega! Vault diamond. Omega! Double omega, double vault diamond. You'll love to see it. What the heck is this POI? A big purple thing? Let's quickly break the spotter and figure out what the heck this is. Is that like supposed to be one of the vault gods? Is that a dragon? Oh, it might be a dragon. It's Puff the Magic Dragon. Beautiful. <laughs> Plenty of wooden chests though, although hopefully they're not all trapped. At least this one's got some carbon. Sometimes you have to break apart the dragon to look for Easter eggs. Any Easter eggs in here? No. This seems like the type of place that would have some Easter eggs in it. Doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, we got another jewel! More vanilla immortality. Let's go. If we get enough of those, we may be able to make a new Terra Shatterer 2.0. How cool would that be? It's time to bail. 4,000 XP, 70 chests looted. Eh, that's okay. I'm just happy we got the black opal. So we got three more jewels to our collection, which is pretty cool. Let's roll our level 40 helmet. What do we get? Samurai helmet. Let's see, we got 12 armor. Oh, we finally got tier four armor rolls. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can uh, spam some wild foci on it until we get a health roll. Plus three health, we can do better. Plus four health, that's okay. I want more. Plus seven health, let's go. See, patience is a virtue. So this is just straight plus two armor, plus two health. Nice, oh, we even have an empty suffix slot. What do we get? Item quantity, okay, let's do it. I'll enchant this helmet in a bit. First, how much Kerbin did we get from that vault? I mean, we got two more mystery boxes and some bags of fluff. We ended up getting 143 Kerbin, yeah. Well, let's quickly open these bags of fluff. Okay, we got one dragon piece. Oh, I forgot, we never assembled this relic that we finished. Yeah, let's grab all these pieces to the miner set and we'll assemble it in just a sec after we open our mystery box. We got a Pog! Pog. Also, I'm sad to say, but in this version, I've heard they've removed Omega Pogs from the loot table for mystery boxes. We lost our chance, but hey, at least we still get a normal Pog. Let's fortune up some bennies and get this relic together. Oh, also, huge change in this update. You can uncraft the perfect jewels, including the extraordinary. Say you're like, oh crap, I made too many. You can uncraft them. It's beautiful. <laughs> A simple but necessary change. All right, let's grab a relic pedestal. And we shall form the miner set. Assemble. Wait, I just realized we already had the miner set. Oh, does that mean we have to smelt this into a bit of lemon? I mean, is it as simple as throwing it in the furnace? It appears so. We get another bit of lemon to the collection. Nice, we have like 16 of these guys now. Now I'm hoping we have enough carbon now to finish off our cage. Maybe? Let's see, this is enough for eight chromatic steel. Okay, I think we might have enough. We just need one more block. We can make another cage. And we should be able to add spiders to our cagerium setup. We just need a one by two drawer because you should be able to get spider eyes and string. Put our four spoidas in there. 
Oh, look at him. And now Spider Eye should no longer be a problem. Oh, by the way, our other ones have been producing. We have over 6,000 gunpowder. Our slime drawer is full. We got 2,200 emeralds and counting. And our blaze rod drawer is full. Ridiculous. You gotta love these cages. Oh, yeah. This is our chicken we have in our terrarium. And no, it doesn't make eggs. Don't get tricked. Every time I put eggs in my system, it goes into this slot because I locked it to it. Why don't you produce eggs, chicken? Why? But holy crap, we got 8,000 beef. Nice. Thank you guys for leaving all the good deed ideas in the comments. Continue to leave them, and I will continue to do them until we can get rid of our rainbow skid. One of you guys said we should de-woolify the Bridge of Friendship, and I think that's an amazing idea. Let me just go heal these shears really quick. All right, time to reveal the Bridge of Friendship again. It's been covered by wool for so long. It's time that we extend our friendship even deeper with Peeporp. I mean, wasn't this wool prank like over a month ago now? How dare we let it stay this long? I'm disappointed in myself more than anything. Also, look at Peep's castle. It's getting ridiculously cool. In fact, there's a little bit of evidence left of the wooling of the castle. <laughs> That's hilarious. I broke the shears! No! I wasn't paying attention to the durability. Oh, those are my enchanted shears. Whatever. We'll just start breaking normal shears then. And there we go. The Bridge of Friendship is uh, mostly de-wooled. There's a, there's a few pieces I missed, but it's fine. And because of this act of friendship, I think we deserve it. Let's add another supporting stick to the Bridge of Friendship. You know, there's nothing weirder in Minecraft than pillaring up with sticks. Like, how would this work in real life, exactly? And how could you do that in real life, huh? You know what? Who cares? We have another supporting stick to the Bridge of Friendship. Ah, it's beautiful. It has three whole sticks now. Nice. And there we go, good deed number three. De-Wolify the Bridge of Friendship. Which is ironic, because isn't Hellfire the one that did it to us? But we used the- you know, Don't think about it too much. <laughs> I know you guys are wondering, has Peeporp finished their portion of the Mega Base? And the answer is, no, not yet. But I'm sure they will. <laughs> Speaking of Peep, Peep's back. Welcome back, Peep. Let's go talk to them. I'll tell them that we've de-wolfied the Bridge of Friendship. Peeporp! I love the fact that on the mini-map, your face is just like rainbow hair. Oh, Peeporp's deafened. Let's scare them. Ah! <laughs> Hi! Hello there. What's up? I actually have something to show you. Oh, okay, okay. I Did you notice <gasps> something? The bridge <gasps> friendship the is back. It's not got wool on it. Oh, wow. <sighs> it's back. It's been the wolf. I, I might have missed a few. There's, there's still a few a few little bits. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Look, it's the wolf. Hey, I, now we actually have to, to build it. Yeah, I mean, how long do you want to keep the single file bridge? I mean, the, the issue is, like, if you want to come this way and I want to go this way, like, you know, what's, what, what do we do? Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse uh, me. Uh, can, can, just scoot to the left a little bit. Room. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even jump out of here. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we'll have a train here soon. But I got so many things I need to build, Z-Dubs. I uh, know, I know. And I'm not putting I them off by talking to you. What? No, no, definitely not. I'm uh, definitely not going to go and uh, finish your mega base. Oh, it yeah. is right now. <laughs> we were just talking about that. I know you <laughs> will. Have you got any preferences for what you want to be built? Because my my part is like the the centerpiece. It kind of is. The world so, is your oyster. I like being surprised. Perfect. I'm gonna go do that now. Sounds good. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> In a bit. I hope you uh, you enjoy what I've got in store. Oh, we will. Well, hey, that answered our question. People will be building their section soon, hopefully. <laughs> and with that, it's meme of the daytime, and do you see that on my mini-map? What's Stir Cat doing over there? I don't know what she's doing. Stir Cat's always watching. All right, today's meme is another one from MC Ooze. MC Ooze has been killing it on the Discord. Say no to Gear Gore. <laughs> is there standing of the gears? I like that you even photoshopped the O as a gear. But that's right, we don't do gear gore here. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll be building train tracks and working on a museum. Oh yeah. Catch you in the next one. CWG out.